Hey everybody, and welcome to Plastic Nostalgic, where all toys are nostalgic, eventually. Now today we're going to be finishing up our nostalgic trip of the real Ghostbusters toys with Winston Zedmore, the fourth and final member of the Ghostbusters crew. This is another one I didn't have as a kid, so I can't wait to get this one out of the package and add him to the others, and I'll have a complete Ghostbusters crew. Let's get into this one. Here we have that classic, the real Ghostbusters packaging that was so prominent in the late 80s. That classic logo. Who you gonna call? I ain't afraid of no ghost. Here we have Winston Zedmore on the cover. I'm guessing that's the chomper ghost by the big old buck teeth he has there. What it looks like he has here. Here's Winston. And his action zapping ray with Neutrono Blaster and Proton Pack accessories. And on the back, who are you going to call the real Ghostbusters? We got Peter, Ray, Egon, and Winston Zedmore. And the Chomper Ghost, the practical, common sense member of the group who tries to keep the real Ghostbusters from getting completely out of hand. There we have it. Instructions on the Proton Pack, Stay Puff Marshmallow Man, and that green ghost we all know as Slimer. Let's get into this one. As always, be careful when using a knife. Now Winston Zedmore was played by Ernie Hudson in the 1984 movie of the Ghostbusters. He answered a help wanted ad and showed up at the firehouse. As soon as the secretary Janine Melnitz started interviewing him about his beliefs in the supernatural and that was a pretty funny scene. He had the famous quote I'll believe anything you say. Wait. The famous quote, if there's a steady paycheck, I'll believe anything you say. Not a bad way of thinking. Because Ray hires him right on the spot. And they become close friends. In the movie and in the cartoon. Although he lacked... The parapsychology background of his partners. He quickly came to realize how real ghosts were. Had to deal with all those ghosts. Let's get him out of this plastic coffin. Oh, there goes that neutrino ray and the proton pack. Similar to the others, but he has his own separate colored proton beam. The proton pack and neutrino blaster. This here is the Chomper Ghost. And he sure has a chomper on him. I guess it moves a little bit. So maybe he can grab around somebody's arm. You can put him on your finger. The Chomper Ghost. Mohawks were pretty popular back then too. And let's get Winston out of here. Okay, here we are. Winston Zedmore. He looked a lot like he did in the cartoon. But he didn't look so much like Ernie Hudson. 
we have that Ghostbusters insignia. And let's slide his proton pack on. Now the real Ghostbusters cartoon is like a spin-off of the movie, of the original Ghostbusters movie. Debuted in 1986, and Winston was voiced by the famous actor Arsenio Hall for the first three seasons, and the remaining four seasons, he was voiced by Buster Jones, very famous voice actor in cartoons. He did Blaster on the Transformers, Doc on the G.I. Joe cartoon, and he also did Black Vulcan from the Super Friends cartoon. Very prolific voice actor. There we have Winston Zedmore, the real Ghostbusters. Complete with his proton pack accessory and his neutrono blaster. That's pretty neat, but kind of cumbersome as a toy. And the Chomper Ghost. Kind of looks like a bird of some sort, but... Those real Ghostbusters ghosts were pretty freaky looking. And here they are, together at last, the real Ghostbusters crew, with Peter, Ray, Egon, and Winston Zedmore, and their companion ghosts, the Grabber, Rapper, Gulper, and Chomper. The real Ghostbusters. Thanks for joining us today on Plastic Nostalgic, where all toys are nostalgic, eventually. Be sure to like and subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you want to see opened up. Thanks for joining us. See you all next time.